All right, today we're going to be uh, throwing a set of Power Stop Evolution pads and rotors on the front end of a Chevy Equinox. Um, last weekend we did the shocks on this vehicle, and then I think next weekend I'll probably do the rear brakes. Um, keep in mind that the process we go through on this disc brake job is going to be the same or similar on a lot of other vehicles. So even if you don't have a GM or an Equinox, uh, watch through the video, it may help you out. Uh, I do want to say a quick thank you to everyone who takes the time to hit that subscribe button. Everyone who gives me a thumbs up and everyone who leaves questions and comments, positive and negative. I appreciate all the feedback and uh, it really is what keeps me going. So let's go ahead and throw some brakes on this vehicle. It really needs them. All right, I have the vehicle up off the ground, supported by a jack and a jack stand. Now we're going to start by removing the caliper bolts. And these are the bolts that attach the caliper itself to the caliper bracket by threading into the slide pin, okay? Now, if you're not in a rusty area like I am, you may need to use an 18 millimeter wrench on this inside here. If you notice that the uh, bolt is not backing out and that this portion is spinning, just put a wrench right here. I believe it's 18 millimeter, okay? And just to be clear, we're not removing the caliper bracket bolts, which are 18 millimeter. They are in here, and there's an upper and a lower on both of these, okay? Sometimes they take the whole bracket off to start, and sometimes they take the caliper itself off, okay? Let's go ahead and uh, get the camera set down and get those out of there. Okay, let's move on to the lower one. Almost knocked you guys over. Okay, so at this point, the caliper itself, which is this piece here, should separate from the bracket. All right. I'm gonna get a piece of wire to support this up here, out of the way. Okay, next we're gonna remove the upper and lower caliper bracket bolt. There's one there, there's one there, 18 millimeter, okay? And what I can do is uh, use the pipe on my ratchet to get those out of there. So I'll have the camera out front. You probably won't see the actual removal of the bolt, but you'll get the idea. Okay, I'm just using the pipe here for a little extra torque. And um, what I'm doing is I'm kind of going down through the nose of the vehicle. Make sure that the socket is on squarely. Let's see if we can break it loose. There it goes. Okay, just gonna do that for the top and the bottom bolt. I don't think you need to see them both. Okay, once they're free, we'll get that caliper bracket off. So let me get the camera out of the way and get this thing out of here. Okay, the pads on the other side uh, weren't really that bad. And I can tell the pads on this side aren't that bad either, but uh, I think the caliper pins on the other side, at least one of them was sticking pretty good, which uh, what it does is it generates more heat than it should because the pads can't back off the rotor and then the rotor develops a warp. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this caliper bracket over to a table, spray it down, make sure that uh, the pins are moving freely here. Let's see. Well, that one's not. Oh, yeah, I can move it. Not real free. At this point, you can pop these brake pads out of here. See, those aren't too bad. There's a lot of meat on those. Okay. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to clean up all around this bracket here so we can put new... Uh, Break tins on here. Let's see if this, this pin moves. Yeah, that pin moves. Okay, we're going to inspect the boots for tears. Make sure that there's no tears in the boots. Okay, let's bring it over to the table. Take a quick look at it. All right, so we're going to pull these pins right out of here. Now, these are actually moving. Um, there should be some grease in there, and I think there probably is, but it's pretty dry. So what you can do, if you're having a difficult time getting them going... And it's definitely easier without these gloves on. I'm trying to do the blue hands thing, huh? As you can pull that back and then hit it with some uh, brake parts cleaner or something that's going to loosen that grease up a little bit. See how that worked it right in? Okay. Let's take these pins right out. We'll throw them in a catch pan. Try not to uh, tear the boots unless you have a replacement set. Uh, if they're already torn, obviously it doesn't matter. Yeah, so the other side, uh, there was a pin that was pretty well stuck. So, okay. At this point, I'm just going to kind of hose these out a little bit, let it set. We'll dump that out after. 
Okay, clean these off a little bit and let those set. Okay. Here on the caliper bracket, you're going to replace the uh, tins. These things here. It's going to be important to clean as much rust off as you can here so that the pads, um, because a little bit of uh, rust will keep the uh, tins from setting uh, snugly against the bracket, which can then in turn cause your pads to either be difficult to insert or just sit too tight. They need to have a little bit of uh, slideability, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on here, clean up the rust, clean up the pins, put some new grease on the pins. I've got some uh, brake grease here. And uh, we'll get it reassembled. Double check our boots here. Make sure there are no pins, uh, no holes, rather tears or anything, which I don't think there are. Uh, and then we'll go and put it back together. All right. I'll be back. Okay, so this is what we're looking for here. I've got the uh, brake tins or shims in place. I've got the pads in place. And they do move freely. I've got the uh, pins moving freely. Okay, I pulled it out of the boot. Now what you want to do is make sure you push the uh, pin in all the way so that the lip of the boot kind of goes up into its position okay both pins all right let's move over to the uh, rotor now I have a small confession and I'll show you that in just a minute here all right so you may notice uh, this has been sprayed down and there is a T30 Torx screw missing here off camera I was letting it soak and I just applied a little bit of pressure to it just to see if it was gonna free up you know sometimes we do that uh, uh, video magic you know and uh, I twisted it off. It was it was bit ready to come off. Now that's not a big deal. That doesn't really hold the uh, rotor on. I mean, the wheel actually holds the rotor on. I believe that those are there uh, through the manufacturing process. They get the rotor on there. They put that screw in there, and it holds it in place. I'm not too worried about it. Some people may uh, go ahead and slam me for it, but I don't think that's necessary. I'm going to make sure that I put the uh, the new rotor back in the same location. But we don't need that screw. And you can see there's not even a stud uh, sticking out of it there. So, again, I'm not worried about it. Um, you could actually, you know, use an easy out and try to get that out of there now at this point. But I'm not going to do that, all right? All right, take a look at this thing. It's got a, it's got a coating on it, obviously. This is the uh, Power Stop Evolution Series. And uh, I have to say right now, that's the nicest looking thing on this car, okay? Let's go ahead and get the... Uh, pads and caliper back on okay so let's go ahead and get the caliper bracket on here it's all loaded up with a uh, new power stop pads here and um, these again were the large 18 millimeter bolts and what we'll do is we'll start by making sure that we get them finger tight I'm gonna poke my head in here hope I'm not blocking the camera I had a blowout on my other blue gloves I don't know how you guys wear these gloves but I have to work tomorrow and I don't want to go in too greasy. Okay, we'll do the lower one here. And these actually torque down to uh, 140 pounds. I'll double check here before we, uh, before we do it, but pretty tight. Just get them ratchet tight here first. I'm gonna grab my torque wrench real quick. We'll torque those down and then we'll get the caliper itself on. Okay, double checked. It is 140 foot pounds for 2010 and up. Okay, this is a 2011. I've got the, uh, again, the ratchet is coming down by the nose of the vehicle. See if we can make it click here. All right, let's put the caliper on here. We're gonna have to press it a little bit. All right, so what I'm going to do is take one of the old pads and I'm going to put it on the uh, piston of this uh, caliper here. I'm going to take a 5-inch C-clamp and we're just going to push that back slowly. And again, this should, uh, this should push back fairly easily. If it's real tight, you may have a bad uh, caliper or stuck caliper piston, okay? What you may also have to do sometimes, depending on the caliper, is wind it, let it relax, wind it, let it re relax. That's kind of, I've also removed the uh, master cylinder cover. And when we're done, we'll top off the DOT3 uh, brake fluid, okay? So, 
All right, let's see if we can get this thing installed here. Now you may have to, uh, if the pin boots have pushed your pins out, you may have to kind of compress those by hand to get the uh, caliper in by it. So if you did like this video, give me that thumbs up. And again, if you're not a subscriber, uh, hit that subscribe button. That helps me out. I have a lot of different kinds of videos, ATV repair, auto repair, I clean my own boiler. See, now this pin is spinning. You can't see it, hold on. All right, so let's see if we can show that. See how that pin is spinning there? It's gonna take an 18 millimeter uh, wrench. Tighten that down. Again, 18 foot pounds on these. And for these ones, I'm gonna use my uh, highly calibrated elbow to torque them down. All right, don't forget, you're gonna to top off the brake fluid, replace the master cylinder cap, and then you're going to pump the brake several times so that you have a stiff pedal before you begin to try to move the vehicle. And then obviously you're gonna move the vehicle slightly, make sure it stops before you head down the road. All right, have fun, be safe, and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.